Hey everyone, Gerard here. In this video, we'll talk about the channel, discuss a few changes going into the future, and a few ideas for my next projects. I decided to talk about it because today marks 18 months since the first video was posted into the channel. If you have been here for a while, thank you for your support. I really appreciate it. If you're new here, welcome. I started the channel to share my passion for LEGO. And honestly, I didn't think too much about what type of content to make. And I had estimated that I would be able to make a video every two weeks, but I needed content for those. That's when I had the idea of documenting the several steps to build the project of the modular diagonale. It would be a long and steady source of content. Now that the project is kind of over, still finishing the instructions, it's time to reflect a bit on the channel and what should be the path forward. Although I love to build LEGO sets, LEGO reviews is something that I don't love. I always tend to rush them and it shows. What I do love is making videos about my projects. Most of all, keep learning new things while doing the projects and showing you those learnings so that you can use them in your own LEGO creations. Review videos are easier to do. That's why I use them to fill in between the diagonal and project ones. Since I'm stopping to do them, I won't be able to release a video every two weeks. On the other hand, the time I spent doing them will be used on the projects. So maybe I can release a video every three weeks. No promises. Together with this change, I'm also starting to publish on Saturdays instead of Wednesdays. That will allow me to do premieres and maybe interact with some of you. I want to start using the community tab and even maybe do some live streams. So those are the changes that I will be making to the channel. Regarding new projects, I have three ideas that I'm planning to work on. I'll probably work on more than one at the same time to avoid the slow periods where I'm waiting for parts and things like that. The first one is microscale. I love microscale builds. It's what drew me to the architecture line and back into Lego after my dark ages. I want to create microscale scenes, not only reproducing buildings that exist, but also exercising my creativity to create completely new things. My first idea is to create something in the style of one of my favorite microscale mock designers, Jeff Friesen. He has several books published. I have two of his books and they are great, highly recommended. His typical builds are 20 by 20 studs dioramas, usually with historic or futuristic themes. I'm thinking about doing something space themed, maybe a colony on Mars, I actually have a bunch of curved slopes in orange that were leftovers from the diagonal mock. The second one is about modulars. I want to keep working in a modular format. In the future, I even want to design one from scratch. But for now, my priority is to complete my LEGO modulars collection. I'm missing the first seven. If I wanted to buy them today, as new, it could cost me 11,000 euros at least, plus expedition, plus expenses like customs and stuff. I just can't do that. So what alternatives are there? Well, the most common is buying the parts and rebuilding them. I did a rough estimate uh, in 2019 when I started thinking about completing the collection and it would cost me in a very optimistic estimate at least 5,000 euros plus expedition and other expenses. It's also too expensive. So I was, I was a bit stuck um, until I was discussing this with another AFOL and uh, from what I said he thought that my idea was to modernize the modulars and actually I thought whoa that's a pretty good idea. Those modulars were all designed more than 10 years ago very different time, very different constraints in terms of the parts that were available. So I think this actually makes a lot of sense. Keeping them completely recognizable, 
not doing any radical design changes, but modernizing the parts that are used, uh, trimming a bit the finishings, um, looking at the details if uh, something more can be added, and most of all, by using more modern parts and more common parts, keep them in a lower price. My goal is to um, keep each one of these modulars under 400 euros to rebuild them, including minifigures. So in total, this would give for the seven modulars a cost of 2,800 euros. Still a hefty sum, but much better than any of the alternatives. The third idea is one that has been coming and going from my mind since I decluttered the attic. Building a LEGO city. It has been a dream of mine for a long time, and actually I had a LEGO city when I was a kid. Unfortunately, I only have this old photo taken from above. So, why am I hesitating and haven't started yet? Well, I see Eiffels with their cities that grow and grow up to a point where they can barely move inside their LEGO rooms. And I'm quite happy right now with how neat and spacious the LEGO attic is. But it will eventually happen. I just need to take the project with my usual MO, which is plan, 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 and only when I'm comfortable with the plan, I start executing. So for sure, there will be here a LEGO city. Let me know in the comments what do you think about the changes in the channel and what project are you most eager to see come to life. Stay safe and see you soon.